timing is engaged, you can see the timing wheel moving the same as the crank does. And this will run on her own in three, two, one. Right now we are set in electronic timing mode. As you can see, the wheels move at the same time. And now with the electronic timing mode, I'm going to show you where our timing tape is. And we are coming around, I'll go around the other way. We'll go around to top dead center, which is right there at my top dead center mark. And Marco, go ahead and show them the timing. I'm uh, advanced to 30 degrees on the timing wheels. Timing tape there at 30. And on this side, timing tape at 30. All right. Yep. And now, this handle is for demonstration purposes only because as you can see, we are in time. See everything moving at the same time. Now, as a generation one, we have achieved the miracle of self-starting. Our crank trigger, everything is all working perfectly. Again, electronic timing, this is tape number one. And I thank you folks. Have a good day. Here we are, demonstration. We are at 10 RPM. You can see the rotation on the point with the degree wheel. We have graduated pressure on. We are at uh, average of 21 pounds on the scale. I'm going to lift up on the handle now. Scale is at zero. I'm going to place it back on there. And there's our pressure, 21, 19.5, 21, 20. Try to say averaging 20 pounds. And again, we are in mechanical electrical mode. Electrical, we have servo running. We have the sprocket going, but there's no change. That would hurt very much if there were. And again, this is 10 RPM, electronic and mechanical. And to verify at the 10 RPM, It's 10 RPM, and our average watts, I would say, is probably about 1.6. Going down to 90, 87, 2, 86, 2.2. .2. So the average I'd say is 1.65 on the watts. And again, to show the engine running.
Now you can see the before and our free pressure. Again, this with no load. And the amps will be extremely low. Quiet that off. <laughs> and again, this is a 10 RPM. And the amps, as you can see, 